It's time for another Tuesday's tech tip from Active Datacom. In our last tip, we showed how easy it is to add an article to a Joomla-powered website. This week, we will add a module, and it is just as easy. Joomla Speed Module will display any standard feed, which will automatically be kept current and give your site constant fresh content. For this tip, we will be using the Feed Module to display our Twitter feed. Joomla default modules are varied and powerful, and third-party modules offer even more options for displaying static or frequently updated content. On the Active Datacom Joomla demo site, we have configured several modules, such as a local weather module, a feed module displaying local news, a news feed for specific keywords, a poll, and a module that displays the current number of visitors. To get started, we browse to the administration page and log in. Once logged in, we choose Module Manager from the Extensions drop-down menu. Once we are in the Module Manager, we see a list of all of the currently configured modules which we can turn on or off easily by clicking the check marks. To add a module, we click the new button at the top right of the Module Manager page. There are quite a few module choices and for our Twitter module, we will choose Feed Display by simply clicking it. First we add a title, and then we choose where we would like the module to be placed. For our site, we will place the new module in the right hand column, so we select right from the position drop down menu. To place the module at the top of the column, we leave the order option at zero, which is where our weather module is now. Under menu assignment, we can choose specific pages where the module will be displayed or omitted. We want the module to be on every page, so we will leave this setting at the default all. Now we need to tell the module where the feed we want to display is located. The feed URL is simply the web address for the desired feed. Since we want to display our Twitter feed, we need to find out what the feed address is. Every Twitter page has an easy to use feed URL in standard RSS format. So to find our feed URL, we simply browse to our Twitter page and locate the RSS feed link and copy it to the clipboard. Back in Joomla, we paste the feed URL into the appropriate field. There are a variety of configuration options to tailor the feed display, such as whether to display titles and images, word count limits, and so on. Under Advanced Parameters, we can set up catching so that the feed is only updated as often as we specify or have it check the feed each time the page loads. When we are finished, we click Save, which takes us back to the Module Manager page. We can view the list of modules page by page or choose all under display to see them all at once and verify that our module is present and active. Now if we reload the page, our new Twitter feed is displayed and working perfectly. It is a little crowded, but we can go back into the module manager anytime, edit our feed module and try different configurations until we get it just right. That is all there is to it when it comes to the basics of adding a module to a Joomla site. There are a variety of advanced options available, and some modules can be much more complicated to configure than others, but the basic idea is essentially the same for most modules. Active Datacom has a great deal of experience building and hosting Joomla-powered sites for our customers, and we use it for our own sites as well. So if you need a site that you can update yourself and that looks great, please let us know. We are here to help. This has been another Tuesday's tech tip from Active Datacom. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need help with your computer, network website, or any IT issues, just call click or come by. Call us toll free at 1 877 55 Fix It. Visit us online at www.callactive.com or stop by at 1203 Nell Street in Pupilo, Mississippi.